security for healthcare life sciences is obviously the utmost importance. It's ground zero in everything that we do. And so security is often blanketed on into DevOps already through DevSecOps and actually doing continuous compliance when we start talking about you know, FDA compliance and things around medical devices. So what we really try to do is build in the automation from day one. I think what's really challenging for most organizations is uh, you know, these, these regulatory bodies were built when customers were deploying things on their own infrastructure. They had control really over every knob and lever. And when you start looking at cloud and all the great things that Amazon does from a managed service capability, they actually obfuscate a lot of the, the underlying infrastructure from you so that you don't have to manage it because it gives you increased benefits. And so what we're now finding is that we're finding really interesting ways to make sure we can continually audit those things, um, log different events that are happening in the infrastructure and make sure that things are in compliance so that regardless of underlying changes that are happening in the environment, you know, we're not at a potential risk with our client in terms of you know, breaking a compliance procedure. Kalent is able to help customers who are in healthcare and life sciences in order to stay compliant with things like HIPAA by leveraging some of these cloud native tools. Things like Control Tower, where they have that sort of level of uh, automated compliance from the get-go is kind of a game changer in that sense, because where you used to have a lot of that sort of really heavy bureaucracy that you have to make sure that you're checking all the boxes in order to stay HIPAA compliant, um, you, can, you can cut through a lot of that by just setting it at the top level. And so now you create all of these new environments and you create new products, but they're always staying in compliance because it's sort of, it's a standard, it's a guardrail that you have to work within the confines of already rather than having to figure out, okay, well, we did this thing, now how do we make it compliant?